Uh, we're just going to rip this for the third one when we have the Ace of Spades here. Um, hopefully, Villain has some folds in him. And I'd really appreciate not getting snap called on every single one of my triple barrel bluffs here. You should have four bet that against me, bud. What? What the fuck? Yesterday, but I mean, it was only the min. Uh, this is a pretty good spot for us up here. Uh, not gonna see that every time, and I'm gonna go check here. Uh, and check all this time. I think the hand's good enough to check raise, though. Uh, turn is. I mean, like, somewhat undesirable. Villain goes small, never ever fold. I don't think we ever raise. This hand is now too weak to raise. Uh, but that's fine, just just go call again. And, I mean, if he triples, then... Ugh, on that run out, I mean, if he triples, we're... in a pretty grim spot. Um, and he just, like, snap jams, and... Uh, I mean, Theory might have like a 10% call with something like this or something like that, but this is going to be a fold. Again, 4-bet with Queens down here, click a call. This guy's like, I don't know, he seems a little bit on the tighter side, so I'm not terribly happy about this until, you know, we see the flop. Uh, pure call. And, I mean, literally hate that Jack, but also not folding to this. Um, he can be shoving worse for value, and in the theory he can be bluffing as well, though he's probably not. Uh, but he is shoving worse for value, so yay. And no ace, no king, please run it twice, sure. That's one win. That is two wins. Lovely. Okay, so... I mean, cards that are kind of connected to to the 9 and the 8 here are never going to be all that great for me. Going to go with the check back, but this is... I don't know, this is this is junk. And I mean, now I think I just need to like half-pot this as a bluff and hope Villain folds like a, I don't know, Queen 8 or something. Whatever he had, he clicked fold. That's lovely. Got a three bet pot down here against potentially a really wide player. Sample size is four. No, literally no info on that guy. Um, but he's going for the half pot lead on the ace turn. And there, there are options here. Uh, one option I'm considering is just rip it. Uh, and because it was short stack, I don't actually think that's that bad. Um, and that's kind of just like a value protection play. Um, I think I'm actually going to do that. I don't know, it seems better than the alternatives. Like, call call seems like it kind of sucks. Um, and I don't expect him to just have like a flush every time he's doing this. Uh, apparently I'm wrong and he just has the literal nuts. Feels bad. Uh, let's zoom in over here though. And so this is a three-way three-bet pot. It's checked to me. Uh, I was the three-better by the way. This guy raised, I three-bet this guy decided to cold call in the big blind. Absolutely no idea what he's cold calling with. Um, Unfortunately, once we get called twice, uh, that's a really shit card on the turn. Uh, if we only got called once, you know, whatever, but uh, the odds of being ahead against two players here are now kind of significantly lower. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check back, and I mean, if we could like check through river, like that's kind of cool too. 
Oh, now that complicates things. Um, I'm actually pretty sure this is just a fold. Like, Wensloft should, like, never be... Like, nobody raises sets here. I would absolutely call this guy. Yeah, I, I'm gonna fold that set. And, yeah, it's, uh... It was straight, good fold, yay, I guess. Uh, the other guy had pocket fives, which did he have with that on the flop? Uh, no, he didn't have that on the flop. Okay, so I was ahead on the flop, and then they literally both just massively binked this turn. Ugh. Um, but the good news is that this guy in the big blind uh, is cold calling three bets with pocket fives, so that's incredibly good news. Uh, the other good news is that this guy is over calling with king seven. And uh, the other good news is that I managed to correctly get away from top set and not lose like an extra 100 and something there. Basically, I mean, there's... So he here's, here's the thing, like... I mean, obviously low stakes players aren't really gonna like look to jump up in stakes and stuff like that, uh, you know, super willingly. You're not gonna see like uh, a 10 NL reg go play 200 or something like that. That would be silly. 10% uh, roll will just actually flat here. I think this is the last one that I'm actually rolling on. Uh, that is really, really good. Probably called a little bit too quick. Oh, please. I mean, I know nobody ever checks back pocket jacks on this turn. So I'm not hitting the bad beat jackpot, but come on. Bad beat jackpot one time. And just, just medium, please raise. Oh, I mean, again, not close at all. But so close. <sighs> right, so, I mean, here's the thing. Okay, I am going to shove my queens, and it's kind of garbage and whatever but it's uh like he makes it a size here that it's just like completely unattractive to play call so i i'm literally going to be shoving or folding my entire range here and queens are going to be in the shoves um but they're like one of the weaker hands that i want to actually shove um he actually should theory says fold that like 90 percent of the time or something uh, and he snap called and he he wasn't psychic he didn't see a card coming um i i have ace check diamond on every single table what is this <laughs> What is this? Okay, well, I mean, this one's raising. Uh, this one, like, might roll a minority four bet. I honestly don't know how much I'm supposed to be doing that. And this one already folded, of course, but that's the exact same hand on three tables. What the heck? So small blinds should lead into me quite a bit here. They don't. Um, 
I mean, I'm gonna roll for some bets. 34, I guess we'll just go ahead and take a check back. And I think that's kind of fine. That is a really good river. So because I check back turn, I kind of still expect like a lot of, um, like a lot of leading from like pocket threes and various like seven X from Carzo. So like the range should be kind of weak here. Um, I'm still gonna go like maybe pot for uh, for value here. We got the snappy snap fold. Uh, really nice lop against Skeleton here. We'll go with the check. He should put in like a fair amount of aggression on this type of texture. And so he goes for 8, and like a guy's 8, I'm still gonna check raise this, but I, I wanna say only like half the time. Uh, that's gonna be a raise. Secret hateful eight is awesome. Um, no, right on. It's it's probably a movie I'll see someday. I just you know never got around to it. Uh, check. Okay, so so here's the thing. Like we get some check raises on this board, and that is nice. Um, but overall, like a bunch of like low to mid cards on boards on board are like pretty damn favorable for the in position caller here. So even though I have a really good hand, there's going to be like quite a bit of check raise checking. And I mean, I'm kind of extrapolating that from like some study that I've done on an ace nine eight board. So like maybe, uh, you know, maybe it's a little bit different here, but I, I assume the concepts still apply. We're just, we have the occasional check raise, but we are respecting villains range. Uh, and yeah, just just gonna go call here versus 39 and then just like check to him on the river and hope he absolutely rips it. I'm assuming Pocket Jacks never ever ever plays this way, so that's a very safe card. Um, pocket Sixes might. And so I guess we'll just hope Dylan doesn't have that. And I mean, his size on the river should be like rip it a lot. Not always, but I mean, there there should be a lot of rips. And I'll of course call. There we go! Um, in order for all the money to go in, of course, you know, your opponent needs to, uh, needs to raise you. What cards is he gonna raise you with? Well, the Ace of Clubs, or not the Ace of Clubs, the, the Ace of Hearts. Uh, which is enough flesh blocker there is going to be the most common one by far i'm going to keep betting here with the ace of spades and then after that the i mean the second most common one is going to be the king of hearts because it's the second nut blocker and so what happens when you have literally both of those in your hand well villain is not going to find many bluff raises uh and he's also not going to find many value raises because he's not going to have the nuts or the second nuts. Uh, we're just going to rip this for the third one when we have the ace of spades here. Um, hopefully villain has some folds in him. And I'd really appreciate not getting snap called on every single one of my triple barrel bluffs here. You should have four bet that against me, bud. All right, we, we get a bluff through, and I mean, I want to say Ace King is a strong hand, but like after that board run out, it's it's actually in a pretty rough spot. 
So, I mean, this, this is just going to click call, but this is going to be awkward because uh, Revivos, Revivos, whatever the hell this guy's name is, is coming along. Uh, it gets a lot less awkward when we flop a set. And, he, and then he just pot size ships. Okay, so, so I'm going to go call here. Um, I want this guy to come along, of course. I am going to, like, tank down another 10 seconds before I click call. I think I should have the lead here, and I think I should go, like, block. And ideally, I'm not getting set over set, uh, though Pocket Queens probably doesn't shove much there. Oh no, this guy has outs. Don't do it. I don't think that's a four. All right, there we go. Take it down. Oh, pocket fives with the nice big pot. Thanks, Daniel. Check back a queen. Beat pocket nines, yay. Rebet the old Jack Jack. Don't mind at all if villain in the big blind goes for the shove. If WN reshoves, I still call. Yeah, let's go. Ace Queen versus Jacks versus 4 3. Oh, that is a good board. Alright, and we fill up on the turn, taking it all down. Ooh. Do this, Calthor. Not bad. Uh, like versus twenty four pre nines shouldn't exist that much in ranges. If anything, I have more nines than he does. Uh, occasionally check, otherwise just continue to bet, and this is going to be a continue to bet type of spot. And just always bet. So there, there's merit to like having some having some checks here. Uh, the issue is, I mean, I kind of block a lot of his bluffing range. I might be owned here. Yeah, that's too bad. So I mean, basically the only pots, like big pots, that I've lost today have been. Kings into aces, kings into aces, and queens into kings isn't already involved in a hand. Oh, I love it when I'm wrong. So up against Milkman, I'm going to roll here. Yeah, we're, we're just going to go ahead and flat here. I, I, I rolled the 43, which... I think is actually still supposed to be uh, still supposed to be a four bet, but it's kind of close. Versus twelve, uh, get half potted into here, and I'm just gonna call here all the time. Villain should have a pretty significant rip range here for nearly double pot.
and if he does, I'm gonna snap call. I can probably just rip. Yeah, let's just go ahead and rip these aces. It's a weird bet. And I am ahead. Run it twice, sure. No queen please, and no queen please. There we go. I'm actually involved in a 4-bet pot here against Mr. Rocket. I bet flop check back turn, which, I mean, it was potentially a mistake. Maybe I should have bet turn, I was just kind of focused on the ace's hand. Ah, uh, cash drop too. Oh, I, no, I didn't emote the cash drop. Uh, pretty sure this should just be all in. Just gonna go all in here with the ace queen and my kicker doesn't play so i'm playing two aces two eights and a king but villain shouldn't really have ace king the slow play he should have should be like aces and i block that um i guess he has eights once in a while but he hasn't called yet so he doesn't have eights if he has an eight there or two eights for quads then he snap calls Thank you. So, like at this stack depth, four bets are kind of getting bigger. I mean, not gonna do anything extreme here, but like maybe, maybe 52? Against Kin Wong. Kin Wong, they're, they're actually three betting me on two tables at the same time, you jerk. Uh, I had to fold the other one because I had crap. Uh, Queen Jack 7 board is, like, I don't know, kind of okay-ish. Uh, probably one that I should just range bet. Um, but I acknowledge, you know, the villain can have, like, every single permutation of the nuts here. And that's kind of annoying. It's more annoying. I think I'm gonna check this one. And I mean, it might result in like check raise all in, which I mean, frankly, feels on the thin side. But like, I, I'm focusing on a bunch of good hands, obviously, but villain should also have like at least some ace kings in range, potentially pocket kings in range, ace jacks, uh, ace queens, king queens, jack tens. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go Psy rip. I don't want to get snap called. I want to get tank called. That that was medium. Oh, guys, we are in such good position. Uh, he's got outs to tens or kings. I'm not touching it. Yes, that is so huge. <laughs> 